uh, and silence effects. So Luna, though she may be able to get very powerful, you still have to uh, be very careful about your positioning. Singularity, I, I don't know, I, I really like how they have just a ton. Uh, they don't have a shrine to rely on either, like you usually do as an offlane player. Oh. Uh, okay, I did not expect that. But uh, this bottom lane, Kezu, is going to get caught in the walls, completely out of mana. Snowball is going to get them That's a little bit of time, but Yapsor is going to put himself into a compromising position because of it. They do get a purification off, but they still lose Yapsor and Kezu. Oh, oh god, exotic there. Uh, yeah, secret. Still brawling on this bottom lane. Still, Yapsor kind of forced to stay down here. And Kezu, this time with no mango, no stick charges or anything like oh, that, just getting into a fist fight. Although they do catch me. onto the disruptor. Smoke screen is going to make them miss a couple of times. Is it going to be enough? Right clicks is going to get the kill. And my dog goes crazy over that one. Well, Exotic Deer still taking right clicks. Will blink out of there in time. And they or or Thunder Strike. I'm pretty sure both would have died. Uh, Kezor, maybe if he had a little bit more. Uh, levels, level 3, you could have secured a kid. Oh. Being chased down by he Luna, though. Ah, oh, he's running into that, so. And his poison touch. Level 1 and heal bomb. Oh, that lag. Uh, either way. Sad in a way. Puppy right now is gonna get into a fight with said Doom. Thunderstrike is there as Elisash has made his rotation. Luna is in the area, but level 5 means no eclipse. And Puppy will actually grave himself and walk away. Suddenly, the anti mage shows up as well. Is there a glimpse? Oh, well, no, there's actually a Ricky coming in from behind. Puppy's down. He was at 1 HP. MP as the Luna really quick will get out of the field. And Elsash still actually has gone for two Thunderstrike, one field, no glimpse. Doesn't really have much to give chase to this Luna. And it's actually going to take quite a few oh. tower shots. And then here comes the reinforcements for Secret. They'll bring in the heat with mid one's rotation. This guy is super far ahead, though, compared to the others. But... Animage needs to get a nice recovery bottom lane. Doom going out. onto the Luna. She has a There's lot a of lot defensive of backup here, so she's gonna take some tick damage. And actually, with the shockwave, will go down. Doom now with the stomp is gonna end up stunning up the tusk. The smoke screen slowing down mid one's advance, but it won't slow him down enough. Doom will fall for it. I don't mind this build that much, given the pace of the game, given how. You don't really need a perfect RP or even a skewer to really start the fights off, at least for right now, a singularity. If, as long as you have the TPs, you can expect the secret side to be coming towards you. And then at that stage, as Magnus, you just kind of teleport in and, oh, the Disruptor. The shards catch him in a corner. Yeah, still in the area with that haste rune, mid one MP. We're going to go over towards the south end where there's an anti mage. Snowball is going to give a little bit more chase and then they'll trap him. Blink is maxed out. There's a walrus punch. There's an eclipse. There's a beam and there's a death of the anti mage. Now they'll lose Puppy in the meantime. Push farm. Okay, so this is not a kill, right? Oh, he has dust actually. It's okay, a couple be of a back scratches. Hard. Okay, so is chained. He's going to try to teleport out. Very ambitious from the Ricky. The amount of times that Demer Spirit actually carries dust, probably a little bit less than he was expecting. Although Blink RP over in the bottom lane to catch MP and skewer him into tower and into Static Storm. It's perhaps helping Luna out a little bit, but there really hasn't been that much time for Luna to sit in a lane or go bounce between camps in her jungle and, and actually get some farm for herself. And the moment she separates from the rest of her squad, suddenly Kesor and Pathos both come in. With the Doom, they're going to put Luna in a corner and she's going to fall at the trade of a Disruptor. Pretty much the same trade we saw earlier for the Anti Mage and the Dazzle, but going the other way now. They're still going to group up for bottom MP. Battering Ram, though there is a Doom here. Shards will catch him. Snowball incoming as well. The Static Storm is going to be dropping. The Tusk is able to get out from that. So we'll do very little. RP on the oh, side. On we'll drag the Omni Knight back in, but there's no real follow-up to this one. Kesu should be fine. And now here comes MP on the side. Gets stomped with a really nice stun from Pathos, but it's not going to matter. They still lose two, as Kezu is perfectly healthy over in the bottom lane. It is an Omni Knight after all. Singularity. They tried to defend with a skeleton crew, but it's just not enough. You you don't really want to be focusing on Omni Knight with the RP. You want to be focusing with the Doom. And that's not up yet, so that's not in the cards. Killing hero like that is always very valuable. Puppy is going to get RP'd bottom. Oh, he's a bit out of range. And this could be really dangerous. Glimps into a static storm. Mid one is here. He's just trying to look scary. Puppies is getting a lot of help though. Repel purification, not enough. Snowball now comes in as the Guard Angel is going to drop, but an RP onto two is going to slow them down a lot. Nisha is going to get beamed out of his TP. Kesor is still dusted up. Uh, miss one from MP is going to land the second one as he gets out of the smoke. 
will be a one for three. Ooh, this is actually a little bit of a concern here for Secret is this Ricky and his farm level. Already has two of the Blades of Alacrity. Is get some help in trying to kill off MP, and MP is just fine, but uh, Diffusal Blade, obviously a great item to have on Ricky full stop, but you're going up against Omni Knight, you're going up against the Ember Spirit, you can get rid of that Weave Armor, and also, he's gonna walk into a Walrus Punch, well, there he goes! Seems like he will slip away. I was gonna mention that MP actually has done a, a pretty good job at recovering in farm yeah, rate, with the Mask of Madness, with the Maxed Out Glaives, it's kind of what you would expect from kind of this Battle Fury-esque hero like Luna, but uh, still, with this build, even with the mana style, kind of paper thin. Push now from Singularity. There's no RP here. They're all going to get woven up. And Lolo almost gets Puppy Skewered oh, back. Off good. in the back, though, it's going to be the Doom. He's going to land his ultimate onto MP, forcing everyone from Secret back with no Ember Spirit. They don't have any damage. They will land a Guardian Angel. Yapsor kind of stuck in the shrine. It'll be focused onto Keizu, first of all. This is it. Omni Knight will run out of mana. Everyone on secret somehow disengaging. Are you serious? Mid one now, not doomed. Oh, He's gonna slide a fist one more time, not get hit with the skewer. Zella Sasha's kind of dropping low in the midst of this fight. Keizu's gonna come in again from the back, and now MP respawning. The leash down the Magnus, just right click him down with the Luna. That was a miraculous disengage from secret. I can't believe no one died there. You're gonna lose heroes after that happens, and that means a rule for secrets. This is this is where they're getting scary because MP is farmed now. He's gonna get the biggest, I'm assuming. And bottom lane, and to me, this seems a hard kill. Oh, it's so much damage though on Exotic Deer. Mid one's gonna chase Shiva. in for more. Spell oh, shields geez. is really good up against Emerson. There's another set of chains. They'll further leash him down with another shard. They'll get him. Hard kill. It, it indeed was. If anyone else was there from Singularity, that could have been. Pretty bad for Secret, but he was all alone, abandoned by Kesor. And mid one's oh, actually going to see the Ricky now, chop him down with the double damage. Room service for the Ember Spirit, chasing forward now for more. Oh, almost. MP will see the rest of them. Now the Sigil overhead as well. Kesor is going to jump into the front oh, lines. Static. Luna is going to dodge a Static Storm. Dazzle will get caught by it, and they will do up the Ember Spirit, but the Eclipse does drop down. RP onto Luna. They'll try to focus her down, but the Guardian Angel and the Snowball are going to keep her perfectly safe in that little egg. Now the roll in onto the Doom. MP is going to find a chance to get a couple of right clicks. MP, though, or er, mid one rather, is still doomed off to the side. They'll lose the first life on the Luna. Kazu now going to repel himself and just look for a target. Try to help mid one. He's actually running kind of low oh, on bashed. health right now. Gets bashed. Yule Scepter will buy him a couple seconds. MP still in this fight. Mid one is going to get a nice purify and will get them enough gas to kill off both Kazar and the Anti Mage. As four will fall from Singularity. MP on that second life doing some serious, serious work. And I mean, that fight was pretty much all Kazu. He lets MP dies, comes back off the humans, and then they they are there and kill everyone. And they are going for Rome. I'm just assuming this is kind of the fourth buyback, if anything. I don't think they're trying to end the game right here. Or are they? Well, if they get another couple of to. kills. Uh, well, you may have jinxed it a little bit. The glaives are still bouncing. It's a little bit more awkward here since it's uh, easier for Nisha to get his blink dagger actually available through all these glaives, but Antimage forced to buy out. Already a pretty nice win for Team Secret. Keizu is gonna get force snapped out, dodge smoke screen, and oh, get skewered skewer. back. Huge skewer, no RP though. Still Yapsor is gonna get saved by the grave. Mana Void kinda wasted there as mid one will slip his way out. Keizu as well, fairly healthy. They will lose the tusk, probably. No, no, oh, he'll be fine with the purify. Everyone on Secret survives that skewer. Why, why go for tier twos? Tier twos just take time. Just go for the just go for the ancient, right? That's what the game is called. They're gonna take down the secondary and now go in straight towards two heroes, although the bash is onto the Ember Spirit. Yule Scepter once again gonna buy him a lot of time. Anti-Mage is going to look for the Luna, but won't be able to get it until an RP lands onto three heroes. The cleave through is gonna demolish Team Secret. Not enough sustain for this one. MP doesn't have a double life. He'll fight to the bitter end, but he will fall. And Puppy, he couldn't do anything either. He will be the last one as Exotic Deer. With the Battle Fury and Empower is going to claim an Ultra Kill. Secret may be going a little bit too far, although they do do a lot of damage to the Ancient. If they could Secret are not going to see this one coming. Sir. Mid one especially, he's separated, and he'll get hit with the RP. And a couple of shots from the Anti-Mage. Help is coming in. Purify Guardian Angel, it's all going to be laid down. Now the Omni Knight is going to get doomed, but MP still very unhealthy. Will go down as M uh, mid one, rather. God, MP. The Mant style is going to chase after the Doom, will get the kill there, Anti-Mage forced out already. One for one exchange, Doom for the Ember Spirit, but most of the ultimates from Singularity are down. And yes, 
the same thing can be said from Secret, but MP with no ultimate is still a pretty substantial threat. Exotic, you're gonna jump in. It's a first hit bash on the puppy. Snowball is gonna save his ass. Will save everyone, in fact. Great play again from Yapsor's MP now gonna have a chance to just let loose with the glaives. Nisha, Elisage, and Exotic here all gonna get shredded by the Moon Rider. An exotic Deer, he has a blink out. He'll try to go for Keizu, but with the Guardian Greaves, he will be just fine. Now the Ricky into the tricks. We'll do a little bit of damage here and there. We'll jump out. Shards almost gonna catch him. They'll snowball in towards the Disruptor, punch him into the air, and kill him off. Jump in. Once again, a first hit bash from Exotic Deer. I don't know how he's doing it, and he definitely needs them, but he will be forced to blink out. And now the focus onto the Ancient MP, Mask of Madness, and Repel. And Vlad's damage. Someone's got to do something about him. Keizu going to look to distract Exotic Deer just by, you know, kind of kiting around in the front. We'll go down as Keizu is going to try to do the same, but we'll fall just as quickly. Exotic Deer versus MP. The man fight of the century with the Yapsaw and the Snowball. They'll kill off the Anti-Mage, and now the throne is exposed. Patos is going to arrive, but he doesn't have any damage, really. So he'll just try to swing, but he's not doing anything with the Sigil. GG well played as Secret. Say, screw the lanes. Mid is the only lane that exists. We will go straight for the throne. Uh, pretty good fights by Singularity there at the end, but the main problem was that MP actually had became too big for them.